Hey, welcome to another episode. Was out bottle digging the other day. Turned up a few goodies out there. And I got uh, this Frostilla bottle. It was just um, a few inches under the ground. And it's been sitting uh, out in the elements for about a hundred years. So over time, um, some deposits have uh, gathered in this bottle what they call uh, a bottle sickness. So I want to keep this bottle in my collection. I find uh, it's got a lot of kind of neat character to it. So I'm going to try to uh, spruce this bottle up a little bit so it looks uh, a lot nicer on display in my collection. Another one I picked up out there that was pretty cool was a little aqua med bottle. And same deal like that Things been sitting out there a lot of years and we have like very harsh winters out here and a lot of water so that basically like gathers a deposit in there. So I've been experimenting for a little while with a couple different uh, bottles trying to find the cure for bottle sickness. So I prepped this bottle by putting about a quarter inch of uh, Varsol in there. And then I just used um, a little scuffy pad on a wire. And I'll give the inside a real good scrape. And that Varsol uh, is basically uh, mineral spirits. And it will uh, take a little bite out of uh, the mineral deposits in there. If you fill the uh, bottle with Varsol and let it stand for a few days, I kind of get better results. Uh, with this process so but giving it a little scrub with that scuffy pad makes a little bit of a profile inside the bottle and it'll scratch it up a little bit so that the clear coat will stick to it good then I washed out the bottle and um, rinsed it with a little bit of alcohol let it dry out and then it's pretty much uh, prepped for the clear coat. Any acrylic clear coat is going to uh, do the job that we want to do here. So I'll spray just a little bit of the product into a small little cap. And I'll cover up the can while I spray it to kind of keep the overspray down. So I just cover up the uh, cup. And I'm going to pour that in. I'll just kind of slowly roll that through. It more or less uh, erases the sickness. Some spots will be a little bit stubborn sometimes. You just have to give it... Uh, a little bit of time and it'll cover them and then once I'm done uh, rolling it I'll just stand it up and let it drain onto a paper towel and I'll uh, leave the end open just a little bit so that air can still get into the bottle if the clear coat um, kind of gets choked for oxygen it'll uh, it'll kind of turn uh, hazy so we don't want that because that's what we're trying to avoid so I'll let the bottle stand there for a good hour and a half before I uh, touch it again And to get uh, kind of into the neck of the bottle good, I'll just uh, cover it with a towel and give it a quick little kind of spin up there. So now as that uh, bottle's drying, I'll show you this other bottle I found. And this was um, just kind of on a hillside and 
it had sat out for about a hundred years and it was like full of this intense scale and the whole bottle looked like that and I tried like getting it off with all kinds of stuff and nothing would even barely scratch this stuff so I gave it uh, a little bit of um, a scuffing with the uh, the green pad as I showed uh, earlier on and gave it two good coats of clear coat and that bottle is very much displayable now as opposed to the ugly duckling that it was this is uh, the med bottle after the uh, first shot of clear coat it looks awesome it was really uh, speckled before but now it's clear as a bell so I'll give you an update on how our Frostilla turns out. So the Frostilla is dry now. And uh, under the light, it's looking pretty good. Just to say a little bit of uh, sickness remains in it. But it is just far more displayable than it was. So again, with the exterior of this bottle was really rough I could scuff it with that green pad and spray it with the clear coat and it'll make it look brand new again this is just one coat and that normally does the trick for interiors so I hope this video uh, helps could maybe hopefully save uh, a bottle that you are gonna maybe discard and we'll see you next time have a good day